In this video, we will be providing an overview of your Global Tech Bottomless Conveyor and learn how to adjust and prepare it to be incorporated with your Global Tech Inline Conveyor. These are the tools we will be using in this video. The T25 Torx bit is provided and located in the packing slip you received with your machine. This is your Global Tech Bottomless Conveyor. The conveyor belts are contained within two cassettes, shown here, and carry containers by gently grabbing and holding them as they travel through the gap. A bottomless conveyor can be used to bridge gaps in your bottling line or carry bottles over a printing machine mounted within the frame. To unpack the bottomless conveyor, detach the box from the pallet using the T25 Torx bit that can be found in the packing slip. Use the Torx bit with a screwdriver to remove the screws and washers from the bottom of the box before carefully lifting the box off of the conveyor. Your bottomless conveyor is fastened to its pallet by screws and washers through each foot, and hooks linked by straps on either side of the frame. Carefully cut the straps that are connected to the bottom of the conveyor. Once the straps are removed from the machine, use the T25 Torx bit and screwdriver to remove the foot screws, one on each foot. Lift the bottomless conveyor off of the pallet with the assistance of another team member. With the bottomless conveyor unpacked, we can adjust the width of the belt cassettes to carry our containers. To do so, turn the crank handle on either side of the conveyor to move that respective cassette in or out. Turn the handle clockwise to move the belt outwards. Turn the handle counterclockwise to move the belt inwards. Move your cassettes outwards until you can hold your container up between them. Now, move your cassettes back inwards until the belts are lightly squeezing your container. The pressure applied should not warp the container in any way, but should hold the container up if you let it go. Depending on your needs, the cassettes of the bottomless conveyor can be angled to better carry your containers. The brackets on the bottom of the cassettes are fastened to their respective bars with two half-inch bolts. Loosening, but not removing, these bolts using a half-inch socket wrench will allow the cassette to swivel about 45 degrees in either direction. When satisfied with the angle of your cassettes, retighten the bolts to lock them in place. Before joining our bottomless and inline conveyors, we must remove the end plate of the inline conveyor. Do this by loosening and removing the four screws in both sides at the end of the conveyor, using a 1 8 inch hex key. Once loosened, carefully remove the end plate from the conveyor, being careful not to damage the steel. We will now adjust the height of our belt cassettes to better match with our inline conveyor. To begin, loosen the four set screws fastening the cassette mounting bars to the frame using a 1 8 hex key. The two set screws that hold each mounting bar are set at 90 degree angles from one another. Place a bottle on the end of your inline conveyor. Next, at least two people should lift both ends of the cassette to move it upwards evenly. Adjust the cassette until it is approximately centered on the bottle you placed on your conveyor, as shown here. Retighten the height adjustment set screws to lock the height in place. We can finally level our bottomless conveyor. Place your level on each of the cassettes. Place the level across the cassettes as well. Get a sense for which of the legs of the bottomless conveyor need to be raised or lowered for a smooth surface. To adjust the height of a leg of the bottomless conveyor, loosen the height adjustment nut on the foot of that leg using a 15 16 wrench. Next, use a 7 8 wrench to turn the foot jam nut, located on the top of the foot. Turn it clockwise to lengthen the leg, or counterclockwise to shorten it. Once the bottomless conveyor is level, use a 15 16 wrench to tighten the height adjustment nut until taut. The speed of your bottomless conveyor can be adjusted with the motor control box, shown here. The motor control box features the run button, the stop button, and the speed control dial. Before starting your conveyor, ensure the AC cord is plugged into a properly grounded electrical outlet. The bottomless conveyor has no on button, plugging it in will automatically begin cycling power through the machine. Press the run button to start moving the belts, turning the speed control dial clockwise to increase the speed, and counterclockwise to decrease it. When you would like to stop your conveyor, simply press the stop button. With our bottomless conveyor running smoothly, we are free to install it on our packaging line. Unplug your bottomless conveyor and line the end of it up so that it is above the end of your inline conveyor, like so. The heights of both should correspond so that your containers will flow easily from the inline conveyor to the bottomless conveyor. 
Your bottomless conveyor setup is now complete.